OK, so 0.5 kilometers square, how, roughly how big is that? So let's just uh, quickly think about the area of a hexagon. Anybody know what it is off the top of their heads? No? It's, uh, it's actually, if I set the hexagon up like this, where I call, where that's the center of the hexagon, and I call this the radius arc, um, which is also, by the way, equal to the length of each side, just because these are all um, Equilateral, equilateral triangles. Um, it turns out the area is three root three over two r squared. And if you're okay, let's just quickly think about how you would calculate that from first principles. If you couldn't remember that, <coughs> um, basically what you can do, we know that there are six triangles in there. Each of these triangles are equilateral. Um, we know that they're equilateral because if I start here and go all the way around, that is um, 360 degrees. So inside here, this angle must be 60 degrees. And furthermore, by the symmetry, these two angles must be equal, so therefore this must be 60 and this must be 60. So what I would do is I would then break this into two right triangles, where this is R. 60 and this is 30. And then the area of that triangle, let's call this side like S instead of T. The area of this triangle is S times T, that's one half. Um, and S is equal to R times sine 30, and T is equal to R times cos 30. So it turns out uh, sine and cos of 30, uh, you can represent them as, um, uh, I think it's sine 30, that's one half, and cos 30, that's root 3 over 2. SBR over 2? SBR over 2? No, because this is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Oh, wait. It's S, yes, S is R over 2. That's correct, because that's sine 30. T is root 3 over 2. Um, that's the root 3 over 2. R. Uh, so if you put that, if the area of this is something. Anyway, whatever it is, the area of this guy is 12 times that, because there's 12 of those. So anyway, that's the area of the hexagon. If the cell occupies 0 0.5 kilometers squared, then what is R? R is, uh, because you have to take the square root, I won't ask you to do that, it turns out to be about 440 meters. 